वेलकम टू इट्स टुमारो न्यूज आई एम हेना तलाटी अर्थक्वेक सर्वाइवर्स फेस फ्रीजिंग रेन थ्रेट ऑफ लैंडस्लाइड इन जापान दैट टोल राइजेस टू सिक्सटी टू द डेट टोल फ्रॉम द मैसिव अर्थक्वेक दैट स्ट्रक जापान ऑन न्यू ईयर डे रोज टू सिक्सटी टू ऑन वेडनेसडे एज अथॉरिटीज रश टू ब्रिंग एड टू सर्वाइवर्स फेसिंग फ्रीजिंग टेम्परेचर्स एंड हैवी रेन फोरकास्ट फॉर लेटर इन द डे The quake with the preliminary magnitude of 7.6 struck the Noto Peninsula on Monday afternoon, leveling the houses and cutting off the remote areas from much needed aid. Heavy rains were forecast in the quake hit areas on Wednesday, raising fears of the landslides. Authorities said, in what could further hinder the efforts to free many more trapped under the rubble? Severed roads, damaged infrastructures. and remote location of the hardest hit areas have complicated the rescue efforts and full extent of damage and casualties remain unclear 2 days after the quake in suzu a town of just over 5000 households near the quake's epicenter authorities have been unable to respond to 72 calls for help according to its mayor authorities confirmed 62 deaths so far up from 55 late on tuesday making the earthquake the deadliest in japan since at least 2016 the government opened a sea route to deliver aid and some larger trucks are now able to reach some of the hardest hit areas smaller quakes continue to hit the peninsula firefighters searching for the survivors in the rubble of the partially collapsed building were seen rushing out to safety as an earthquake warning alarm sounded before noon on wednesday according to the footage broadcast by the public broadcaster nhk on the noto peninsula the destruction included buildings damaged by fire houses flattened fish boats sunk or washed ashore and the highways hit by the landslides Very extensive damage has been confirmed including numerous casualties building collapses and fires Aerial news footage showed the terrifying scale of a fire that ripped through the old market area of Wajima where a seven story commercial building was also collapsed Quick damage impaired rescue efforts to put out the blaze Almost 33,000 households were without power in the region which saw temperatures touch freezing overnight the local energy provider said Many cities were without running water That's all for now For more news updates stay tuned with us it's tomorrow news For more global weather updates like this subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates